is Liam, and this is Eric. This was me every morning before school. <laughs> I was a very emotional child. I loved my friends, but I hated my teachers. I feel like they never tried to understand who I was, and I became very disenchanted with school. When sophomore year of high school came around, I was depressed. I saw the world that I was being prepared for, and I didn't like it. There was so much evil in it, and I had nothing in my life that ever led me to believe that I could change it. Around this time, the financial crash had happened. Our venerable leader. Uh, we had been in Iraq for eight years. All these people who were destroying the world had been through the same education system I had. And I was being taught to be successful like a Wall Street banker, be good and just like our president. I didn't have any hope for the future. And the reason I'm alive today is because when I chose to start doing what I love and not what other people told me to do, there were people who supported me, like my family. And the reason me and my friend Eric are here tonight is because what I love to do is help people. And what Eric loves to do is help me phrase things better. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Um, he, he was able to relate to my story and wanted to help me start this organization called OK. And it started because in high school, after going through this period of depression, I started studying happiness. And I learned we all have a specific activity where we feel flow, which Eric will explain in a minute. And we all need to feel like we grow as individuals, and we need people who we love, and people who love us. So I wanted to make this a little simpler for me to remember, and also to communicate to other people. So I called them the ABCs, which I guess, oh, no, no, we got it. Action, belief, and community. And OK provides a space for people to come focus on these ABCs. And I thought it was imp important because I experienced how it made me more creative, confident, and compassionate. So I want to tell a little bit about how I got into OK. I was looking for an outlet that would let me experience personal growth in a way that I'd never had before in my life. I always struggled with the education system as well. So I felt this would be a great starting point. For those of you who don't know the concept of flow, it's to be completely immersed in the moment, completely immersed in whatever it is you're doing, whoever it is you're with. This is our, the best picture I could get with regard to the representation of the concept. So growth is the next piece within flow. It's doing something that's slightly beyond your comfort zone, and being able to reach and do it, take advantage of the moment, seize the day. This is something we all try to do, and this is something that having a network can really help us with. OK provides that network. So terminology, to be a flower means to be a member of OK, someone who comes to the organization events every Monday night, uh, which are held at Arts Riot. We generally do a multitude of different activities at each week. It changes week to week and then month to month. Those I'll go over in a moment. To be a grower means to be a facilitator of the meeting, someone who can provide that space in an organized way so everyone feels comfortable to share their ideas. This is something that we've been looking for and something that education didn't provide for us. So we start each meeting. <laughs> Hopefully it looks something like this, that'd be great. Um, we get up, we get the blood going, some sort of physical activity. In school, you're sitting in chairs all day, even right now. Um, we want to do something that's different, something that gets people engaged. Um, you learn when you're in motion, and we want to take advantage of that. The next part of our meeting is to look inward. Take the time to reflect on your day, on your week. Meditate for five minutes, complete silence. Something we don't get an opportunity to experience enough. And 
And then the last piece is collaboration. At the end of every meeting, we want people to feel like they've experienced that concept of flow together. And when you're with people, the more people you're with, the more powerful it can become. So the great thing I love about how we put this PowerPoint together is everything's extremely simple, and the key is not to overcomplicate everything. <laughs> the A is the start of the month. Um, we start a project with our group, and we work on it up until the end of the month, at which time we present it to an open public audience, like tonight. Um, again, this is all done at Arch Riot on Pine Street. Um, the B is the second meeting of each month. This is when we s devote all the time to looking inward, all the time to express what ideas we have in an open environment, in a setting where people are accepting. And lastly, the C, this is the collaboration. This is focusing intensely on not only our community, but also close friends, people who we should know very well, but a lot of times actually don't. Um, I don't know if, I haven't researched it enough to know if this is a gen generational thing, um, if this is just our generation, but one thing I've noticed is everyone doesn't know each other well enough. <laughs> and then lastly, this is a snapshot of OK. Um, this is when we meet every Monday night. And the next public meeting is May 26. And like I said, we're on Arts Riot. This is Liam's contact info. If you need to get in contact with him, we wanted to have an opportunity to show a lot of people tonight. So if you want, um, jot that down. And thank you for your time. <laughs>